think we provide a place where students who have had negative experiences in the past can, can experience some success. They can come here and understand the work that's going on, feel that teachers are listening to them, providing them with some um, positive feedback, and they're actually getting the work, and they're, me they're meeting other students who are similar to them and have had similar experiences. I think what Fairhill does well is that Fairhill gives students a second chance. And this program is really the only program that I know of where the students want to be here. Um, we have a lot of strict rules, um, but there's also a lot of support at Fair Hill. So a kid that comes to Fair Hill really doesn't have any excuse for not succeeding with all the support that we provide here. When I meet someone and they ask me what, is, what it is that I do, and I tell them, the first thing out of their mouth is, oh my God, how do you do it? It's not that hard. Um, just because this is an alternative high school, a second chance school, whatever you want to call it. Um, and it's true, most of our students have been kicked out of other schools. But like I said, the problem at those other schools is the size of the school. Um, there's too many kids, the buildings are huge, so there's no supervision. I think what helps us here at Fairhill is, one, we have very strict policies. Um, we have a great staff, and we have a small building, so it's more like a family atmosphere. I think there's a lot to be said for the fact that every teacher knows every student's name. Mm -hmm. um, and I think you guys feel a little more accountable <laughs> when you walk through the door. People ask, oh, you, you have a tough population. You know, what's the discipline? Is, is, is there fights? Is it all out of control? And I, I told them no. I said, no, Fairhill's not like that. Um, we established the rules here, and the students carry out the rules. Um, we ask the students to be role models for the new kids, for the new students coming. We say to them, you know, step up, be a leader, and they do. You know, if what um, I'm learning actually makes sense to me, it seems important, seems valuable, speaks to who I am as a person. Um, if the people who are around me value education or actually can actually demonstrate its, its usefulness, because, you know, if I look around and most, most of the people that I deal with um, education has not really mattered um, or proven useful and beneficial, it's going to make me question it, right? So it may affect my motivation. I think the testament to it is that so many of you told me you got there by word of mouth. Yeah. And what I, my experience has been is that if young people are telling other young people that it's a good place to be, that it's usually a good place to be. Because if it's not a good place to be, people know it. Mm -hmm. So I think we need more programs like Fair Hill across the city. My name is Erica Borelli. I'm 17 years old. I've been coming to Fairhill Community for about four months now. It's nice. I like it. It's a very helpful school to get you where you want to go. If, especially if you weren't motivated, it helps you to be motivated now. Um, the reason I'm here was because before I came here, I was living in Florida and I was up there for about six months and the problem happened with the family. So this was my next choice to go to. And, to help me move faster and get done school and move on to whatever career I choose. Alright, my name is Sergio Rosa. I'm 17 years old. I uh, attend Fairhill Community High School. I'm going to be 18 in the summertime, July 27th. I used to attend Alany High School. It was, wasn't too a good environment for me. Didn't like it that much. Um, too many fights, couldn't concentrate. Came here and got my act together and now I'm on track. On honor roll, as you can see my pins. I'm doing the right thing now and it's working out for me. And after this, hopefully attain college. Absolutely. Well, let me ask both you and Daryl, we're wrapping up now, coming to the end of our program. If you had to, the takeaway, if you would, you, you have an audience of folks out there, thousands of people out there listening to you, what would you want our, our, our audience to take away from your experiences at Fairhill and the work you're doing on the documentary? Well, I hope everyone learns that school, without a high school diploma, without being in school, you will not be anything. Mm -hmm. And I'm, one thing I, I do want to say, I'm glad that I have a principal and teachers that is going to push me mm -hmm. and not let me do anything I want in school. Mm -hmm. And it's like a branch, so everybody mm -hmm. does their job and mm -hmm. it makes every, everything easier for everybody. The support is there, supporting it. Great, that's a very good answer. I wish I would have was going to a school like this all my life. There you go, okay. That's great to hear. Mr. Degato? Um, I, I would say to um, everyone out there that alternative doesn't mean bad. Mm -hmm. You know, people think, mm -hmm. oh, it's an alternative school. These students are bad kids. They're not. They're just looking for a place 
that's going to accept them, a place that's going to push them, a place that's going to challenge them, and that's what we do. Mm -hmm. uh, we can only do it for 225 kids, mm -hmm. um, and the demand is so high mm -hmm. for seats in alternative programs like this. Um, if you're in a place where you feel safe, where you feel like you're learning, where the adults care about you, where you have some peers that are sort of in the same situation and can support you, stay there, graduate, and then make your choice about careers, college, that sort of thing. Mm -hmm. Very obvious, and it's been proven time and again that people's life's chances increase when they have a high school diploma, especially if it's a diploma that represents real learning. In order for school reform or in order for schools to be really effective, they need to be changed, you know, in, in many ways that um, allow young people and students to really benefit from the exposure. Because most people have access to, to public education, right? But the question is whether or not the public education is, is as quality and as um, great as it can be. We need teachers and administrators who want kids to be in school and who also seriously believe in the ability of every student to learn and to make it in this world and that they should be a partner in that effort. Uh, when that happens, kids flourish and the schools flourish. The schools are safe. The students are happy and the teachers are happy. I mean, if this city's gonna really thrive, mm -hmm. we have to make sure that our young people are educated and have really good career choices. I think one of the things we need to do is to make sure that more elected officials know about uh, places like Fairhill and others. I think that, you know, the, there's the, what anyone might call the standard school setting and then there's the alternative educational uh, facility uh, or, or school. And I'm not sure that that many people know uh, what goes on uh, at those places. I think, you know, the old model was, uh, you know, almost a uh, reform school or, you know, some kind of um, uh, punishment uh, kind of place. There are some good things going on uh, at, uh, at these schools. A young person has decided to try to turn their life around. We need to give them more support, not less. And so I think uh, one of the things is, of course, the DVD that you're doing, uh, which hopefully more people will see, especially elected officials, so that they can better understand what goes on uh, at these schools and that there is more support uh, that is needed. There has to be a commitment to solving the problem of dropouts. And there needs to be a commitment to fund it, and there needs to be a commitment to continue to fund it, not just start things and then back away from them afterwards. Um, but the biggest thing is to keep attention on the issue and to keep trying to find the resources to expand the schools. I think the two greatest things that we have to accomplish over the next uh, few years is dramatically reducing the high school dropout rate and significantly increasing the college degree attainment rate. As I mentioned earlier, 45 percent of our young people dropping out of high school, only 18 percent of our city residents having a four-year bachelor's degree. Those two numbers have to change and they tell as far as I'm concerned, most of the story of the city of Philadelphia. If we dramatically change those two numbers, we will turn around the fortune of this city and change lives.
safe in here. You sure, man? <laughs> it's safe in here. Oh my god! Oh my god! Oh my god.